Another thing that people don't know about me is that I'm actually visually impaired. When I was diagnosed, um, my parents actually didn't have a, like have any idea that you know I had this diagnosis or that I you know carried this gene or trait um, that is actually that was given to me by my birth parents. So um, when I was diagnosed, I also um, found out that I was adopted. So it was kind of two things hitting me at once. She started none starting pulling violin and I noticed that the, the violin teachers tell us that you need to get her eye check because she had had time to see the page, you know, for the music. I said, at first I thought, oh, maybe she's just a lazy kid do there. Then um, she get into the uh, elementary school and I noticed the first year she got in the first grade and she had had time to read. So that's how we started. I take her to the the doctor and the doctor said, hmm, put her back six months. Maybe she's nervous and put her back six months and that's what we checked. So I waited um, more than six months, but uh, almost in the second grade. And uh, I take her back and they, they decided, no, they cannot help her. So what I have is called cone dystrophy and it is a macular degenerative disorder, which when I was in third grade, I had no clue what that meant. <laughs> um, but so basically I was born um, with my retinas not fully developed and your retina, or your, sorry, my rods were not fully developed. And so your rod is basically the center of your eye. Um, so it's like where like your pupil is. And so, um, and my cones are like deteriorating. Um, and so my vision right now is about 2400 and 20, 2200 is legally blind. So I've passed the legally blind mark and um, it's, uh, it's scary. <laughs> um, but so down the line, obviously my cones are still deteriorating and um, it's, uh, you know, once they do fully deteriorate, I will be considered, you know, I will be completely blind. I will lose my sight. I guess I'm not. You know, I know it's going to happen, and I might not completely lose all of my vision. I might stay where I'm at right now, or I might lose it completely. And to be honest, like, I don't really think about, like, the future, I guess, as much as I, I like to focus on, like, what's going on right now, um, just because I know that, like, you know, these are the memories that I want to have. This is, like, what I want to remember. So I don't really think about, um, you know, down the line what's going to happen, but it does scare me to think about, you know, not having my vision, I guess, just because, you know, even though my vision isn't as good, it's still been a part of my life, I guess. First time I hear she had there nothing we can do about it, and then she can lose her sight. And that's the most horrible thing to hear, your child going to lose their sight. You, you just can't help them about it. But uh, we just do our best and see how they go. I think it really hit me, and this sounds really cheesy, it kind of hit me on my 16th birthday when I couldn't get my license, <laughs> um, which sounds really cheesy, but it was it was a realization that you know I'm not going to be able to drive. I can't get my license, um, and it just it was uh, it was very it hit me very hard. Um, I remember crying on my 16th birthday, <laughs> um, but it hit me and it's something that I realized was going to impact my life forever. Um, that was kind of the day where I was like. Wow, you know, this is it. Give her opportunity, let her do it. She can do it. She can accomplish stuff like that whenever she's doing. You know, you know, give her a chance to, to go out there, dance or play ball and have a good time with it, you know, and instead try to think she had a um, disability and afraid to use her or something like that. You know, that just hurt me the most. I finally understand now that my visual impairment, although it is draining and it is some days very, um, very overwhelming and very stressful, it was, it's made me so much stronger. And it's an obstacle every day, you know, to have this, but every day where I overcome it, I'm becoming stronger. And you know, I blamed him for it at first. I blamed God for that. And now I realize that it was more of a, I guess, hidden blessing.